After Pride Month, a number of celebrities, athletes, and personalities from around the world came out as LGBT. This is my fifth Out and Proud video of the year, and I have several in this series. If you missed the previous videos, be sure to check out the others on my Out and Proud playlist. In the comment section, let me know who did you learn about for the first time, who's coming out shocked you, who did you fall in love with, and who will you follow on social media? And a special thank you to everyone who has become a member. Because of your support, I am able to continue creating content on a consistent basis. Please join me today to help me create content if you can. Now, stay tuned. Johnny Massaro is a Brazilian actor, director, playwright, and producer. He gained critical acclaim when he played Fernandinho in a teen telenovela from 2008 to 2010. He has appeared in 13 television shows and 19 movies and has directed five short films. His first feature film, The Kitchen, is about gender norms, sexuality, and male affection. The film will be released October 7th. He came out in February, but it took me several months to translate his coming out post from Portuguese to English. In an Instagram post, he revealed he was dating a law professor, Juo, who is pictured here. Congratulations to the happy couple. Cynthia Erivo is an English actress who is an Oscar away from being an EGOT. She won the 2016 Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical for her role in The Color Purple. For her work in the play, she won a Grammy Award and a Daytime Creative Arts Emmy Award. In 2020, she received an Academy Award nomination in the Best Actress category for Harriet. As part of British Vogue's Pride issue, the 35-year-old publicly came out as bisexual. She is currently dating Emmy-winning actress and screenwriter Lena Waithe. We love a gay power couple in Hollywood. I imagine Lena is writing a script for Cynthia right now to win that Oscar. Congratulations to Cynthia. Xander Murray, a 30-year-old striker in the Scottish Football League for the Ferry Dean Rovers, came out as gay on September 16th via an interview with his club, making him Scotland's first senior male player to come out as gay. After publication of the interview, he posted the link via Twitter and thanked LGBT elders who came out before him. All of us in younger generations should thank elders every day for their courage. Without them, we would not have the freedoms and rights available to us today. Xander decided to come out after attending a Pride event. Also, he wanted to serve as an example to younger gay athletes that you can be out and have a professional career. He also revealed that he has a boyfriend. Adam B. is a 22-year-old content creator from Northern Ireland. He started his YouTube channel at the age of 12, so young, and has amassed over 3 million subscribers on YouTube and close to 600 million total views. That's so incredible. His video content consists of pranks, challenges, and life hacks. He earns about 600000 a year and has an estimated net worth of $2 million. He posted a video on his channel titled, I'm Gay on July 22nd. In the video, he explained that he came out to his family first and they accepted him with open arms. He then posted a video with his boyfriend. Congratulations to Adam. California native Solomon Bates attended the University of Southern California and played on the baseball team. In 2018, the San Francisco Giants drafted him in the eighth round of draft picks, signing him for $150,000. After his release from his contract, he came out as gay via Instagram in August. He posted his respectable record as well. His message to the MLB community is that gay baseball players can excel. Two days after he came out, the Sioux City Explorers signed him. Congratulations to Solomon. Toby Rudolph is an Australian rugby player who plays for the Sutherland Sharks. In an interview, he stated, Sexuality is very fluid. I've been out and kissed many gay men, kissed many straight women, and kissed many gay women. He also said, Love is love, and I love to share it with everyone. That's probably why I love going to all the gay bars in Sydney as well. I love dancing with my shirt off and getting down on Oxford Street until 2 a.m. I know where I'm traveling for my next vacation. Manly Sea Eagles is a rival team to the Sharks. Seven players from Manly 
refused to play a league match because they were required to wear LGBT pride jerseys. These are the jerseys, by the way. Toby came out afterwards and stated, the LGBTQI plus community was dragged through the mud and I wanted to give them a boost. I think it is quite telling that the players from Manly refused to wear the pride jerseys. The jerseys are conservative. For stands in the stadium, they probably could not even see the rainbow colors. Expect an announcement from at least four of the seven players in a few years. Stay tuned for that. In a related story, Keegan Hurst, Britain's first pro rugby player, came out as gay in 2020, but on August 1st, he announced his return back to the sport due to the players from Manly who refused to wear the Pride jersey. He hopes to tackle thinly veiled homophobia within the sport. He signed with the Batley Bulldogs in the UK. I hope when the Bulldogs play Manly that the Bulldogs will have all male cheerleaders in booty shorts and all of the fans have on gaudy pride attire. That's what I want to see when I go to that game. In a perfect world, Keegan and Toby would link up with an LGBT community organization for a campaign combating homophobia within sports. Sanjaya was a finalist on the sixth season of American Idol. He placed seventh despite receiving poor critiques from the judges. During the height of his fame, Time Magazine included him in the most influential people of the year list. For his autobiography, Dancing to the Music in My Head, he received a $100,000 advance. Some years after the show, Sanjaya walked away from the entertainment industry and is now a pastry chef in Montana. On the Adam Sank podcast, he came out as bisexual on August 22nd. The Courtship is a reality television dating show where The Bachelorette meets Bridgerton. The show premiered on NBC in March of this year with Nicole Remy at the center of the court. Christian Lee Combs, a 25-year-old IT support manager from LA, is a contestant from the show. During episode eight, Christian said that he wanted to be completely honest with Nicole and he came out as sexually fluid. He told Nicole, you could be the love of my life, but also I wouldn't want to rule out that there could be a dude out there. For me, it doesn't easily boil down to gender. I just want to love who I love freely without thinking twice about why I love them. In her confessional, Nicole said that she was over the moon that he felt so comfortable with her. I love both of their responses. Igor Benevenuto is a 41-year-old Brazilian FIFA referee who has served as a referee for 24 years. One of the top referees in football, Igor came out in July, becoming the first ever FIFA-ranked referee to come out. He stated, in Brazil, homosexuality is seen as an illness similar to alcoholism, which can be overcome. I believe that for years, I suffered from depression and went through dark times. FIFA issued a statement of support. We welcome and support referee Igor and his decision to come out. FIFA strongly believes that football is for everyone. Igor striving to be himself is an important moment for football in Brazil and in other countries around the world. FIFA is holding the 2022 World Cup from November 21st to December 18th in Qatar, where homosexuality is illegal. Gay men face imprisonment of up to three years and the possibility of death. A number of players and organizations are boycotting the World Cup due to homosexuality being illegal in Qatar. Peter Carruth is a 34-year-old forward and midfielder on the men's field hockey team in Ireland. He was a member of the Irish team that won the bronze medal at the 2015 Men's Euro Hockey Nations Championship. He also represented Ireland at the 2016 Summer Olympics. Peter came out as gay via Instagram. Peter is the first field hockey player to come out as gay and the second Irish Olympian to come out since Jack Woolley. Jack came out as bisexual. Peter's anxiety was so severe that he wanted to back out of the 2016 Rio Olympics 10 days before it happened. Peter, we are elated that you finally accepted yourself as you are and you're comfortable sharing it with the world. Ginger Gonzaga is a 39-year-old comedian and actress. She came out as bisexual through her character Nikki Ramos in She-Hulk Attorney at Law. 
In one scene, Nikki commented, hetero life is grim. Then in an interview with TV Line, Ginger stated, Nikki is queer, she's free, she'll love anyone. I thought of her initially as being bi because I'm kind of projecting myself into this character. Congratulations, Ginger. Keith Davis is a 50-year-old New Zealander and legendary cricketer. He played from 94 to 97. Heath was prevented from enjoying a longer career due to injuries. He came out on August 1st in a documentary series titled Scratched with the spinoff, making him one of the first male New Zealand cricketers to come out as gay. His story is heartbreaking. You can watch the entire video via the spinoff's YouTube channel. Al Green is an Australian rugby union and rugby league player. He was a member of the Australian Rugby Sevens team that won the gold medal at the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio. He came out as a trans man in a video posted to TikTok. You can watch the entire video via the CBS News Australia TikTok account. Jack Jablonski was a sophomore at St. Margaret's High School in Minnesota when he was hit during a hockey game in 2011. The hit caused an injury to his spinal cord, leaving him paralyzed. In 2013, the Chicago Steel drafted him in the entry draft. He graduated from the University of Southern California in 2019. In 2020, the LA Kings hired him as a social media content creator. In early September, he came out as gay and said this. This conversation is being had because uh, I'm gay. For 26 years, that's not something I ever said aloud or, or even wanted to think. Visibility matters and Jack's coming out provides visibility to part of the community that feels invisible. Congratulations to Jack. The next three coming out stories highlight countries not individuals that have come out in support of gay rights. In the Isle of Man, gay sex was decriminalized in 1992, 25 years after England and Wales, and 12 years after Scotland. In late June, Isle of Man provided pardons for men convicted under the former gay sex laws. And hello to everyone from the Isle of Man watching this video. I cannot wait to visit Pride next year. Year. Singapore lifted its colonial era ban on gay sex between men. The Prime Minister issued the announcement and also said that the government would take steps to prevent legal challenges that would allow same-sex marriages to be recognized. However, Singapore will continue to restrict LGBT films and media content. Hopefully the restrictions will be lifted soon. In late August, Vietnam issued a statement outlawing conversion therapy and stating homosexuality is not a disease. However, same-sex marriage is still illegal in the country, and Vietnam provides no anti-discrimination protections for LGBT people, nor does it prohibit hate crimes based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervickyates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, let me know who did you learn about for the first time? Who's coming out shocked you? Who did you fall in love with? And who will you follow on social media? If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can. And like and share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.